Hello, welcome to Theosophy in Wales. I'm Dave Marsland. Right, why can't a human be reincarnated as an animal? Some traditions say that you can, um, and this normally relates to uh, karmic retribution for something you may have done in your life or the sort of life that you've led. But Theosophy postulates that the human spiritual entity is so far in advance of the animal kingdom that it can't be relegated into animal form. Um, it's too complex um, and as an animal you couldn't express yourself although there would be an imperative to do so if you found yourself uh, reincarnated as an animal. Now um, Laurel and Hardy had some fun with this idea in their film The Flying Juicers made in 1939. Now in the film um, Oliver Hardy um, says at one point uh, that he, he wishes to be reincarnated as a horse and um, later on he dies in a plane crash and because it's a Laurel and Hardy film he is in fact reincarnated as a horse. Um, but um, the horse, um, well, firstly, it talks. Um, so I think this is probably where they got the idea for Mr. Ed from. The horse talks and it still has um, the same grumpy personality, Oliver Hardy's grumpy personality and the sort of Stan Laurel's um, pleased to see him and it's like meeting an old friend. The horse is, is still, is in fact um, Oliver Hardy except he's a horse. Um, and I think that shows um, Possibly, I know it's, it's, it's a comedy, but I think that shows the absurdity of being reincarnated as an animal. That there'd, there'd be no ex, um, ability to find expression in, in real terms. I mean, obviously, you're not going to come back as a talking horse. Um, but it would be a complete dead end in um, evolutionary terms. Um, and that brings me on to the next thing. Um, reincarnation is part of our evolution, both individually and the evolution of humanity. Now, interestingly, in uh, recent times, the neuroscientist Todd Murphy is now um, postulating that reincarnation is in fact part of our evolution. So there is some acceptance now of, of reincarnation within the, uh, the scientific world. Um, and that, that's an interesting development um, and of course um, Todd Murphy says because this is part of human evolution there's, there's no question of being relegated back into the animal kingdom. Um, possibly um, in some traditions the, the idea of being relegated into the animal kingdom comes from the idea of depending on the life lived or you might have done something to warrant it, um, you acquire characteristics in a life which make your life um, more difficult and sometimes people talk about having the mind of a monkey or, or something like that and that would be possibly you know do something in one life disadvantage in the next but you're not actually relegated into the animal kingdom so uh, there we are that's the theosophical view you can't come back as a horse even if you want to